plan is called the sundew. And there's some really great examples all around me here. But what's, what's interesting about this plant is it doesn't consume the insects for food or as an energy source, just strictly the nutrients that they possess, like all the other carnivorous plants that are out here. This one is called the sundew. So uh, let me show you what one looks like. So take a look at this guy here. And here's some over here. They're very small, flat, paddle-like uh, leaves that have these little hair-like projections that stick up. And what's neat about them is that on the tip of each one of these is a small drop of dew that's actually very, very sticky. Insects get stuck in this, just as you see this uh, dragonfly right down here, and they can't get out. Eventually they die, their body starts to break down, and those nutrients are uh, released. And these plants take them up, mainly the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the potassium, and so forth. All those nutrients that are necessary for all plants. You can actually see this little dragonfly or damselfly having some troubles here. All right, yesterday I talked to you about the sundew of the insectivorous plants. Today I have a bladder ward I want to show you. This bladder ward is actually a uh, free-floating a flowering plant. It has a central stalk with a yellow flower and then below it at the surface of the water just under the water are these like spokes that stick out in all directions and then from those are the bladders create a vacuum so they kind of get squished in and then when a trigger occurs they quickly inflate sucking in the water in whatever triggered this response. So let me show you what one of them looked like right here. So you can see how literally the wind is pushing it right now. It's drifting with the wind a little bit. You can see the spokes that stick out at the surface of the water. And I don't know how well you can see the actual uh, bladders, but I can see some right there. Behind me, there's a lot more and you can look at what direction the wind is actually blowing because they're all getting pushed on the far side over here you can see them out there all these yellow flowers are what we're looking at here's two more up close here's another one right here and you can see the spokes on that one these are called bladder warts All right, it's taken me a few days, but I finally found the third uh, insectivorous or carnivorous plant out here on the edge or in the Okefenokee Swamp. So what I want to show you now is the pitcher plant. Take a look.